Wait a second. Hola, mi amigos. What's up, friends? Te llamo Nick. Nick is taking a Spanish class, so uh, don't mind him. Oh, did I say te amo? I meant me amo, uh, Nick. Uh, te amo, Chelsea. Today, we're going to be doing something that is kind of just taking it back to whenever I was a teen and writing letters to my future husband, which my future husband is now my husband. So we're gonna open up this box that I've been collecting all these letters in. And Nick has read a few of these right before we got married on our wedding day. And they even recorded it and everything. Mm -hmm. And Nick was like a mess reading oh, all man. of it. I was sobbing. But the file got corrupted and so now we're just going to kind of go through it together and share some of the prayers that I had written whenever I was 16, 18. I just wanted to encourage you guys to also write prayers to your future husband or future wife because it's really special and it's really something and I'm glad I did. Mm -hmm. So, want to do it? Let's go! Let's <laughs> ju just jump right into it. So this is the box that I started collecting things in for my future husband. I also have letters that Nick's wrote, written to me in here. So like, I don't know what this one is. Looks like Valentine's Day or Christmas. Oh yeah, this is Valentine's Day. Aww. Anyways, I don't want to get distracted. This is about you. I started reading it I was like, oh that's sweet. Oh, I wrote that. <laughs> So originally I never wrote letters in a box or anything. I never put them in there, but whenever we were planning on getting married, I started doing that. But there's this jar that I always put letters into from 16 years of age, I even wrote it on the cap, to 22 question mark. I thought I was gonna, I put like when I thought I was gonna get married and I uh. thought I was gonna be 22. Uh, at one point. Pull some random stuff out and uh, read it. I'm nervous. 2019. This is from 2015. This is four years ago. Okay, open that one. This is so weird. Interesting. Wow. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Holy moly. Okay. I already know what type of person I was. This is from 219 of 15. So this is five days after Valentine's Day. Four days after Wait, Valentine's Day. Wait, you know what? what? We started dating February 19th. <gasps> what the frick? So this would have been so cool. This would have been exactly Chelsea would have uh, that was not planned, by the way. Just not realizing. Yeah, that. I did too. I totally forgot about that. But yeah, we started dating on February 19th, 2017. Dear future husband. We should put like <laughs> music over this. And I should read in some Dear like future husband. I should read it in a British accent too, but I'm not going to. It's really difficult sometimes. I see all my friends around me in really long relationships and I can only hope that, that would be me someday. I pray for you often. I wish I could know uh, right now that God has someone planned for me, but I just don't. I mean, what if I was made to be single my whole life? <laughs> you weren't. I know God would make my heart content if need be, but I guess I'm just worried. Right now my best friend is in a relationship that is beyond damaging and my heart breaks for him because I know he doesn't love her and he's just blinded by lust. Praise God that I wasn't in a situation like that. It truly is a blessing and also a curse to date someone for about two weeks. Wow. For about two weeks and know if it's pretty much going to work out or not. Wow, you knew after somebody knew after two weeks it was gonna work out. Dang. That's me. That's oh. what I'm saying. We'll keep reading. Uh, I feel like an awful person because I pretty much shut this guy down that I liked for a while because I couldn't see a future with him. It's almost as if every time I would pray about advancing into a relationship with him, God was like, Ah, nah, homie, you is going. <laughs> Wait a second. God was like, quote, ah, nah, homie, you is, is, is spelled I-Z. This is in my language. You is growing in me right now. You don't need a distraction, end quote. Mm, yeah, God, thank you. God doesn't talk like that. All right, I guess that's where I'm at right now. That's the letter. That's 
<laughs> That's the letter. All right, let's see when this one's from. It's 11 and one, or one one sixteen. 17 years old. So yeah, yeah, we didn't, we didn't know each other. We wouldn't have met for, oh. Our washer's going off. Or dryer, actually. Uh, one one sixteen. so this would have been 11 months, three days before we ever first started any kind of discussion. Dear future husband, the clock just struck midnight for the new year and I cannot help but think of you. So many questions are going through my mind, like, I wonder if he spent New Year's Eve alone like me because I was sick, frowny face, question mark, or what's his family like? I wonder what state we will end up living in. So many questions, but I pray that you are growing closer to Christ. Oh, I get it. Okay, this past year was a year of mistakes for me, but thanks to God's amazing grace, I can choose to walk uh, in the other direction now. I love how God is working in me, and I already know this year is going to amaze me on all sorts of levels, going to college and making new friends and maybe meeting you, question mark. Oh. Who knows? Addiction? Yeah, wow, you actually did meet me that year, so that's kind of dang. Who knows, but I'm tired, so I'm going to start the new year off right with some sleep. XO, XO, Chels. 11-27. Oh, 16. Oh, oh, I'm this excited. This is literally like... Okay, hold on. I want to read that one first. <laughs> 11, 27, 16. So Chelsea and I would have known each other at this point for 23 days. So just over three weeks. But we had not met each other yet. No, we hadn't met. Dear hubby, it's on my heart tonight that maybe God will call me into singleness my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally afraid of being single my whole life. I can tell. It's because now it's showing in up like... in two out of the three letters. <laughs> yeah. It's on my heart tonight that God will call me into singleness my entire life. I mean, I know Christ is enough for me, but I long to have a life partner to go deeper with. Plus, kids would be so cool. <laughs> if, you're, if you're out there, I pray that you're growing in your faith. My recent boyfriend and I just broke up because God was calling me into singleness. I pray this is not Christ calling on my life to be single for my entire life. But if it is, I know I can find my security and rest in you. The most attractive thing to me in a man is a guy after God's heart. And if you're reading this, you have this. I can't imagine myself marrying someone with the lack of this quality. Currently, I'm waiting waiting on a calling to let someone pursue me again. And I want to be prayerfully certain of it. Well, now, on that heavy note, maybe let's go to a lighter one. She decorated them up like all cool and stuff. It's out of focus, but... Normally you'd be able to see it says, Dear Future Husband, 17 years old, uh, December 30th, 2015. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, wow, that's a beefy one. Dear Future Husband. <laughs> it's so funny how They're they all, all start out like that. I cannot remember the last time I wrote to you, but I pray that you are healthy and living life like it's your last day. I probably wasn't. Lately, I've been so on fire for God, like always having the urge to read His Word. It's been amazing. I'm finding my identity in Christ, and for once I can say I'm not longing for a relationship. All over social media are unrealistic, quote, couple goals um, that are currently being posted. It just makes me sad because God designed dating as a tool to eventually marry, and people use these relationships as just sexual fulfillment sometimes or don't take their significant other seriously. What you and I are going to have someday is going to be so raw and beautiful because of Christ and the both of us. Plus, we'll make stunning children. Amen. I'm writing this at 2 a.m. on winter break and I have breakfast with a friend in the morning so I better sleep. Lots of love forever and always, Chels. Who'd you get breakfast with the next morning? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how many letters we want to read. Should we make this but, the last one? Yeah, let's make this the last one, and then we can go through other things in the box that we okay. had. Last one. This one definitely looks like I was 13 when I wrote Here it. Here we go. But this was when I was 16, this right? Was, this was February 23rd, 2015. This was just after your other one. Dear future husband, people are just so judgmental at times, including myself. It just blows me away. It's a struggle at school to even go through the regular day without one of your friends or just someone you care about questioning your reasoning in certain situations. Wow, did I need to know this? Or was this you venting? Or was this I like, think this was me venting. I think this was you venting. Most times I just want to ye yell 
I thought, <laughs> Most times I just want a yee. I thought this said yee. It looks like three e's. <laughs> Most times I want a yee. Most times I want to yell at them because so many people try to guide other people's lives in general. I just want to tell them every time, you know, this is between my savior and I. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is... What? What? <laughs> what? Jesus says, don't throw me up under the bus, sweetie. Uh-uh, you ain't finna do that. Seriously, though, people are just so curious. Okay, anyways, I guess this is some sort of therapy to write this all down. Okay, I love you, Chels. <laughs> this was not a letter to me. This was Chelsea this was venting. There you have it. Those there are, you have it. Those are Let's some show letters. them some of the relics of our love. And then Nick had written me a letter on a napkin. No, that's a, that's a shop towel. That's a shop paper towel. Oh. It's a mechanic shop. Let's paper see. Towel. Paper towel was all I had. LOL. Oh, wow. I love you more today than I ever have. You're the best ever, Chelsea. Drive safely. Love, love you. See you Friday. Yay. I love you so much, sweetheart. Nick. So cute. When Chelsea writes, it's like, man, I hope God's not calling me to be single. I <laughs> hope he's not doing that. Hey, you know, people are just so mean. They're all just so mean. I don't know why I'm writing this, but You bye. should see my Twitter drafts. These letters that I wrote were because I, I didn't know you yet. Oh, this is the list that oh, I yeah, made. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. I think I read this one on our wedding day. Um, so these are qualities that Chelsea wanted in a husband, and there is many of them. These are my vows. Wow! Should I read them to you? Sure. Alright, these are Nick's vows, so we're just kind of going through this box of randomness. These are my real vows, too, and this is my, um, little boutonniere. boutonniere. Yeah. Chelsea, we've definitely had our highs and lows, we've shared our wins, and we've definitely shared our losses. And somehow you've stuck right next to me through it all. Now here today, you're not going to have a choice but to be stuck with me. Through this life, I promise to you that I will do the following. I promise first and foremost to lead by seating Christ at the throne of our marriage. I promise to love you and only you faithfully. I promise to protect your heart in situations of success and in failure, in good times and in the bad times. I promise to encourage you to press on when stopping short seems to be an easier route. I promise to listen to you intently and nurture your every dream and aspiration. Lastly, I promise not to give up when it gets hard. I may not be able to do everything, I may not be able to meet every single need every single time, but I promise that I will be able to at least do these. Because of that, I vow all these things to you. I love you. No, I'm just kidding. Well, that was fun for us to go through. I hope this video was somewhat encouraging, honestly, because I think that these things are special to look back on with your person in the future if you mm -hmm. choose to, to write letters and show your affection that way, because honestly, that's one of the reasons that I loved long distance, or at least I loved one side, like, you know, there are pros and cons, but I yeah. loved long distance um, in this way because of that so if you enjoyed this video and you like more videos like this be sure to subscribe and hit the bell be sure to One subscribe second, baby <laughs> chill out so thank you guys so much for tuning into this video sometimes um nick makes me laugh and i can't insert it into the video but <laughs> love you if you guys enjoy any more videos like these, we do a lot of similar types of videos, including why we're going to counseling in our first few months of marriage and why it's important to us. You can find that on our channel as well and hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell because YouTube kind of sucks at notifying people whenever they post videos. So we don't want that to happen to you guys and we hope that you guys can stay plugged in to this community and we really appreciate y'all. So. We love you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. What? Remember. Oh. The only way to change tomorrow mm. is to take a step today. Oh my goodness. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta go. That just <laughs> shook me. You give me that